Two years ago, I went on a mission to save the world. No. I went on a mission <laughs> to bring the awesomeness of Veeam to everyone. And I started writing a new book, because that's what I do. I write books. Weird books. And the book was Wizards Use Vim. It was meant, or it is meant, to be a book about fantasy. <laughs> a book about fantasy and about Vim. About how you can be more productive as a software engineer, software developer using Vim. And then it's fun, because he has all that fantasy quirkiness and whimsy in it. And then while I was writing the book, I realized that there is a lot of resistance against Vim. Because Vim is thought of as a an editor for bros, <laughs> or like uh, super nerds, or like yeah, the type of people that you don't want to be involved with. It isn't perceived as something that anybody could use. So I wanted to change that perception, and then I thought perhaps I can bring Veeam nearer to people, and I thought that the way to do that would be to bring Veeam to VS Code, because a lot of people use VS Code these days. Uh, and in that way make it more approachable to more people. And so I, I started writing another book. Uh, and that was the beginnings of Boost Your Code in Foo with VS Code and Veeam. Uh, and I was thinking, yes, I'm just going to write a book super quick. Let's see, I'm going to break it. It's going to be a format with, it's going to be very short. It's going to be very uh, practical. There's not going to be a lot of fluff. Uh, a bunch of short um, chapters with a very practical take. And it took me longer. And I went from it took a lot. I took a lot longer than I thought I would take, and I finally launched it. And it's available to read online. Uh, I somehow also started doing an audiobook a podcast with it, and I thought that that way would be very easy for people to just start using it, reading it, and applying it on their daily lives. And it, it was pretty successful, but. But I didn't think that it like uh, fulfilled its full potential. So that's why now I've built a VS Code extension. I don't know how I didn't think about this before. Probably it did, but I just didn't do anything about it. Uh, but I think it was a very good idea to build a VS Code extension so that you can write from within VS Code, learn Veeam by following the book, and making a bunch of exercises to practice your skill with Vim. Because the yeah, one thing about Vim and about everything else in life is that if you want to learn something, you need to practice. Knowing uh, about something and actually doing it or being skillful at it are two completely different things. So, so now that we have something pretty good, you have a place right within Vim, where you can start learning Vim. And I'm going to give you a walkthrough. Excellent, so now we are in Vim. Not. Excellent, so now we are in VS Code. And now what we want to do is go ahead and install extensions. And here we're going to see my microphone is in the way, I can't see shit. But if you type learn Vim, you will see how it appears as the second plugin. And this is the plugin itself. I have spent some time adding some helpful description about the features and how it works. Learn Vim right within your favorite editor. Use this extension to learn and practice your Vim skills and become a more awesome developer. And this is sort of how it looks. You have a pane on the left with the chapters and you can see that you get a, a green check mark when you have completed or read a chapter. So you get a sense of completion. Then you have a pane with the book itself, so you can learn some theory and build the right mental models that will help you learn Vim faster. And then in the end to the right, there is this uh, pane with exercises where you can experiment and learn and practice 
theme right within VS Code. So now we would install it, and then once you have it installed, you have this helpful command called learn theme that you can use to use write uh, to use jump write to learn theme. So you type that, and then it opens the extension. Uh, you have the chapters on the left. I have completed all of them because I know Beam now. And then you have um, the book in the middle. And then the exercises to the right. This be the foreword. Uh, very poetical. It was early spring of 2013 and it was cold. Colder than what you would expect for such a time of the year. Colder than spring has the right to be. But this was Sweden. And such things are to be expected of Sweden. No milder weather could have forged the mighty Vikings. And then you could go ah, and see to write here. There's an intro of how the book looks like with some ASCII art. You go to the introduction, some inspirational quote, how to install Vim in VS Code, and then you start with the with the with the meat, with the good stuff. Some jokes, some whimsy, some quirkiness. And then you go into your first exercise with this baby steps in Vim, where you learn some of the most foundational key bindings in Vim. H J K L. These keys are in your home row and they help you move in Vim. And then there's this exercise where you have to go through this dungeon and practice like this H J K L, very basic. So you get to move this cursor and go through the dungeon until you find the treasure. Now, oh no, it's a dead end. So you will keep practicing, and in the end, you will get to the treasure, and then you say, Congrats, you're rich and can settle in this beautiful ASCII palace. ASCII? ASCII? I don't know how you pronounce ASCII? ASCII! Uh, and then you continue. Another exercise about the insert mode, escape, how you get out of uh, insert mode. And then you go building up your skills. You go to moving fast. Here we have the motion, so how do you move fast in Vim using all these motions? Uh, uh, this There's a slight, not so much theory, but the right amount to have some repetition because repetition is very conductive to learning, particularly in the beginning. You want to uh, yeah, say, oh, uh, how do you, which one do you use to move word by word? It's a W command, the W command, and then you jump in the exercise, the W command, word. And that helps you build that vocabulary of commands without repetition. In this case, we have in this case we have this simple exercise where we have some text and we need to traverse the text with W and B. W for word, B for back, and it's Conan. It's hither came Conan, the same Marian, black-haired, sullen-eyed, sword in hand, a thief, a reaver, a slayer, with gigantic melancholies and gigantic mirth, to tread the jewel thrones of the earth under his sandal. Feet. Cool. Uh, w, 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 word, 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 back, 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 back. So you could train in those motions and just continue learning more and more and more. Some examples are texts, other examples are code. Uh, um, just try to choose whatever f simplifies learning a, sp a specific motion or command. But then it's always nice to see how you can apply it to code. So you can actually apply it when you're coding. And then you continue. There's uh, editing, there's some uh, more mental models, uh, how to insert text in Beam, how to select text in Beam, how you operate on different searches, and then you go building up your knowledge until you are pretty comfortable with them. And that's it. I hope that you found this video helpful. I hope that you found this uh, Learn Beam extension intriguing. And hopefully, the next time we see each other, you will know them. And you will say, Jamie, this is awesome. I love it. I then you get a chance, you will find a new way to enjoy programming, to find joy in the act of editing text, writing code. That's it. Have a wonderful day. See you.